hey how's going on youtube welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video today i'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix fps drops lags and stutter including micro stutters while driving in gta 5 and gta online i hope this video helps you out to optimize your pc and your game so make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said let's get started with the intro Alright, step number one is going to be the best Windows settings and for that you have to simply search for settings onto your PC and once you're here come down to personalization. Head over to colors and then you're going to have to turn off transparency effects. This will remove unwanted animations on your windows and your title screens. After that you have to head over to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. It is an overlay service and you don't want that running in the background and this will stop opening up this overlay service while you're playing the games so simply turn this thing off. Head over to gaming, head over to game mode and simply turn this one on. It will help you to optimize your PC by turning off things and applications off in the background, helping you to save your useful system resources. Then simply click on the graphics button underneath and enable optimizations for windowed games as this will help you reduce unwanted input latency and use advanced features to optimize your game performance. Select advanced graphics settings underneath and select hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and make sure that this is turned on. This will help you to utilize your primary graphic card to render the game. Once that is done, all you have to do is open up Steam or wherever you have installed your GTA 5. Right click on your game, head over to manage and then click on browse local files. Over here you have to copy this file path and then select add desktop app back over here. Simply paste this path in here and then you have to select GTA 5 enhanced.exe right inside this one. Select the add button and once that is added scroll down to find this application. For the GPU preference select high performance over here and make sure that it is utilizing your primary graphics card. This will help you to utilize your primary graphics card over your CPU based graphics to optimize its performance. Once that is done you can simply close it. Next step is compatibility settings and for that head back to steam right click on your game select manage and then click on browse local files once again then right click on gta 5 enhance.exe and then select properties here head over to compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimizations this will help you to fix black screen issues then click on change high dpi settings and select override high dpi scaling behavior select ok and then click on apply and this will potentially fix all kind of black screen and stuttering issues in the game step number three is disabling background applications and for that you have to search for edit group policy on your pc over here you have to double click on computer configuration then administrator temp Templates, then Windows Components and then App Privacy. Here you'll find Let Windows Apps run in the background. This simple setting allows your application to run or not run in the background. Simply enable this policy and default for all applications set it to force deny. This will deny all of the applications running in the background saving your useful system resources for games. Once that is done, simply close it. Next step is using Hone to optimize the performance of your PC, fix lags and stutter in GTA 5. All you have to do is simply click on download Hone to download it for free. Once you open it up, you'll see a very simple interface like this. The first thing that I would advise you to do over here is create a backup for your system. Head over to backup and then you have simply select create a new backup, name the backup. Once you're done with the backup head over to optimizations and then you'll find general optimizations here i would recommend you guys to enable io operations optimize drives to help you to load into the games faster but if you don't want to go in depth and apply all of this manually without knowing what they do all you can do is head over to the games section where it will automatically find and detect all of the games on your pc all you have to do is scroll down and find gta over here select it and it will show you the best preset that you can apply in just one click select best performance here and click on activate presets and this will automatically apply all of the best settings for your game and your pc to run on maximum performance once again hone has a ton of features for every one of you and i would recommend you guys to go and check it out for yourself by clicking the link in the description below and downloading it for absolutely free next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your pc look for it and select a local disk c click on the create button and name it gta 5 just so you can remember it i would highly recommend you guys not to skip this step in any case because it helps you to create a backup point of your system once that's done simply click on close and close system properties the next Next step is GTA 5 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. This pack helps you to optimize your PC's performance and make sure that you disable all kind of power saving features to run your PC on maximum throttle. Here I have left 6 folders which are designed to optimize the performance of your PC. First one is CPU priority which includes AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again if you have an Intel CPU like me you can double click and apply this priority and it will help you to set up the correct D word value for your processor to make sure that it runs on the maximum throttle without damaging 
its life. Second one is RAM optimization, which helps you to ensure that your RAM runs on maximum capacity and on the best values. I have 32 GB RAM, so I have to apply this registry over here, but I have left a ton of presets according to your system. And once again, if that doesn't work out well for you guys, you can always reset it back to default using the reset to default registry over here. Third folder is GTA 5 priority, in which I have left above normal, high priority, and normal priority. I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below, and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose over here for maximum performance. Fourth folder is disable unwanted services, in which I have left a ton of services on your system, which are absolutely useless, but they're still running in the background consuming a useful system resources and to disable them you can simply double click and disable every single one of them except if you use any bluetooth or printer services skip these two and once again even if you have disabled them you can revert them back using the revert registries folder fifth folder here is configs because these configs helps you to skip the part of the best in game settings and if you want to apply it right in the game without any changes all you have to do is simply leave your pc specs in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which preset you need to use over here. Currently, I have a PC which is relatively high end. So simply use the setting.xml file. Make sure you guys right click on it and then select copy. Now you have to go to this directory, which is documents slash rockstar games. You have to head over to documents, open up the rockstar games folder, and then head over to GTA 5 enhanced and you'll find a settings.xml file over here. All you have to do is right click and then rename it to xml.1. This will act as a backup in case these settings doesn't work out for you guys. Now you have to right click on that and paste the settings file that you have copied from this folder. And once all of that is done, it will automatically apply the best settings in the game so you can skip that part and see if that helps you to optimize your game's performance. And lastly, I have left a programs folder in the FPS pack, which includes three of these programs, which are designed to optimize your system's resource consumption. The first one is clean temporary files.bat. You have to right click and then run it as administrator. This will simply ask you to press any key to start deleting all temporary files on your PC. And these temporary files, they are simply cache files that you can clean up to ensure that your system runs on the best performance. Once that is done, press enter. Second one is MSI mode utility 3.0. Right click on that and run it as administrator. Once it opens up, all you have to do is find your graphics card in this list, select the MSI button next to it and for the interrupt priority select high. This will change how the interrupts are being prioritized on your graphics card and this will help you to optimize its performance in an optimal way. Last is Pro PC Optimizer which is a one click optimizer for your PC. All you have to do is double click and open it up and once you're over here, you have to press enter and enter once again this will create another restore point just a backup before it applies all of the changes on your pc it is up to you you can skip this part but it helps you to set up all aspects of your pc in just one single click press enter and it will apply all of the best windows settings and once again and once again if you are curious about the pro pc optimizer you can go to this link which is propcguides.com slash pro pc optimizer where they have given all of the latest patches and everything that this changes on to your PC in a very detailed format. Once that is done, simply close this. The next step is disabling unwanted startup applications. For that, you have to press Ctrl, Shift and Escape all together and it will open up Task Manager. Now what you have to do is head over to the fourth tab which says Startup Apps and then you want to have to start disabling all of the applications that you do not use right after you boot up your PC. This will not only help you to optimize the performance of your PC but it also helps you to reduce the last BIOS time as these are the applications which are turning on even if you do not use them when you boot up your PC. To disable these applications, right click on them and then simply click on Disable. The lower these applications are, the better it is for your PC because then all of these applications will only open when you want to use them. Once all of that is done, you can now drop into the game for the best in game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then you have to head over to settings. Open it up and then head over to graphic settings here. Then pause game on focus loss should be turned on. Output monitor should be set accordingly. For the screen type, I would recommend you guys to go with borderless full screen, frame rate limit off, VSync off and Nvidia reflex on with boost. Then under the graphic presets, I have set this thing to minimum. However, you guys can go with high over here as well. Make sure that you're using as low video memory as you can for better performance. Ray tracing should be turned off. Frame scaling should be set to Nvidia DLSS for Nvidia graphics card. AMD FSR for AMD based graphics or you guys can go with sampling for any other GPU. For the DLSS quality you can go with performance or DLAA both of them works absolutely fine. Frame generator you guys can turn this off or on because 
little bit of input latency might be introduced with this on but it doesn't really matter much you can go with dlss frame generation and a generation mode to 4x then you'll find quality over here everything over here is set to normal you can increase your texture quality a bit any tropic filtering go with 2x and other than that everything i have kept it to normal once all of that is done you make sure that your population density is all the way down to low population variety is down to low and distance scaling should also be low once all of that is done, press your spacebar, restart your game and then you guys will be getting the best performance out of the game. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel. We are very close to 250,000 subscribers and I appreciate your support. I will see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.